Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, please do check the description box below. There's a ton of information there for you. Links and all kind of stuff, personal reading information. So please, please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started here in your Love Connection reading, um, a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get started for Capricorn Love Connection reading second half of August. Now this can be any type of connection that you have in mind with anybody. So we'll just see what comes out here. So this is a zodiac oracle. So we may get a planet, an element, or a uh, sign. So whatever comes out here, if you find you don't resonate with this, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. But the rest of the message may be for you. Obviously, if you clicked on the link, there's probably something here that you feel you um, resonated with in the title. So hopefully there'll be a few messages in there for you. All right, Capricorn, second half of August. What kind of energy? Well, that was quick. Quick. Saturn. So this is um, Sagittarius energy. I No, no, that's not Sagittarius. That is... Capricorn, so that is your energy. So that is about ambitions, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So I don't know. We'll see how that plays into your reading. And I just noticed here that um, Saturn is 19, which is 10. And then you, Capricorn, are also 10. So 10s are about endings, but then comes 1, which is a new beginning. So... And then if you add 10 and 10, 20, reduce that down, 2 plus 0 is 2, is about, you know, unity, um, people coming together. So we'll see how that plays into your reading, Capricorn. So you've got your own energy. So you could be dealing with another Capricorn, or this is just your energy. Okay. Or maybe your person has Capricorn in their chart could be their moon or rising or Venus sign. Okay. So let's see. Let's get an overall love energy feeling for you Capricorn for the second half of August. What's going on with Capricorn? What is the love energy like for them? The second half of August spirit, please. Can we have one card for Capricorn? All right, let's see what we have. Tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self-care. So I had that feeling that because we have two cards here of your energy, I think you may, maybe you just went through an ending or something like that, and now you're just focusing on yourself, your healing, your rebuilding, and just taking time for yourself, relaxing, just taking a break. I really had that energy. So I don't know. We'll see here. In the pre-shuffle, though, I mean, I did see the Ten of Cups. I did see the Knight of Pentacles. I think the Lover. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. So let's get one card for you. How is Capricorn feeling in love? Second half of August. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. So, so if you're on a break or you're just taking time for yourself, if you just did perhaps go through a breakup or a separation or you're single, you know, maybe this is just an energy of maybe you're single, you know, you just, you know, you spend a lot of time by yourself. And maybe you're kind of losing hope uh, that, you know, when am I going to meet my person, my soulmate, or just somebody that the universe has a divine plan for you here. And you're probably not seeing or feeling it as of yet, but there is a divine plan for you and you are being helped in your journey, whether you see it or not. 
But let's see if you have somebody in mind. Obviously, if you're watching this, you have somebody in mind, uh, whether it's an ex or it's somebody you have, you feel like you have some sort of connection with, or if you are on a break from somebody, whatever your situation is, if you are watching this, obviously you have a connection of some kind with somebody. All right. So how is Capricorn's person, whoever they're thinking of, whoever they have in mind in this connection, how do they view Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? How are they feeling about this connection spirit? Thank you. Yes, okay. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So whoever you have in mind, if you're wondering about them, yes, I do think they like you too. Um, they feel a connection here too. So the answer is yes. They are open to you. They are open to your connection. They do feel something for you. And maybe you're not feeling it. You're not seeing it. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. So, you know, this has to go with, you know, tranquility and you're being helped. So maybe you feel like... Um, Maybe you don't deserve this person, or maybe you're unworthy, or maybe you think they're out of your league for some reason. But over here, it's saying to let go of any negative thoughts here and dream big. Dream that you can have this person, that they, you know, like you too, that they could be in your life, you know, that you are worthy of them. Because it's definitely here that, yes, they do feel the connection with you too, in some way, shape, or form. And it's time just to come into peace with yourself. You know, I'm getting your body, yourself. So let's see. Capricorn. So let's see. And with the Saturn energy there, I mean, that is about ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So let's clarify for Capricorn, second half of August. Let's clarify you're being helped. Why is that card here for Capricorn? Well, that's way too many. Okay, I'm going to take this one, though. So we have the three of wands. So again, this is, you know, looking out into the distance, fire energy here. So you could have fire in your chart, or this is just the energy uh, of the three of wands. As you see this person... You recognize them. They kind of light your fire here because the wands are about passion. But there's no action. This is a card of just waiting and waiting and waiting, you know. So I don't think any action's being taken in this. You know, it's just kind of waiting to see. Do they feel the same? Do they feel this connection? And the answer for them is absolutely yes. You know, the fire's lit there. But uh, there's no action being in taken so it's one for them the five of pentacles so earth energy here so um and that's the virgo taurus capricorn energy so you know this is about you know being abandoned left out in the cold um maybe they you know have they feel the connection with you but because you're not taking action maybe you're not showing that you like them or you feel some sort of connection maybe because you're not showing that they're feeling like, you know, I think I like this person, <clears throat> but they kind of give me the cold shoulder because you get the five of pentacles here. So that's like being abandoned, left out in the cold, neglected, you know, just like getting that like cold, abandoned feeling. So I feel like, yes, they feel it, but they're feeling like a cold energy from you. And that's the total opposite of what you truly feel because you have three lanterns here like lit with fire. So they definitely light your fire, but, you know, but they're getting a cold energy. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is here. I have one more. One more for Capricorn, second half of August. Love connection reading. One more for Capricorn. Oh. Well, we got two more. Okay. 
So we have more earth energy with the six of pentacles. And then we have the nine of cups. And then we have, oh, the eight of wands, more fire. And then we have the moon. So connecting to you is the six of pentacles. And to me, that's the minor arcana of the justice card. So this is about balancing out the scales, equal give and take. So, and that's your earth energy. So I feel like you're trying to find your balance. You're trying to find, uh, I think you're really trying to find, you know, do they like me? Do they not? But you're not showing it. So there's a need here to balance out the energy here and to uh, really think about this person and try to balance it out between them in some way. Because connecting to them is the moon and that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So, and that's about like not, this is not really knowing what's going on, kind of feeling left in the dark, not seeing things clearly. So again, they're confused about how you feel about them because they get a cold feeling from you of like out in the dark. And here's the confirmation of that with the moon, like out in the dark, I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. I can't see clearly how they truly feel. And you're like wanting a balanced connection here but not doing anything about it with the three of wands just kind of looking at them but not taking any action but connecting the two of you is the nine of cups and communication so water and fire so definitely connecting the two of you is wanting communication fast passionate communication of some way and then wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups so dreams coming true wish fulfillment happiness and joy so seeing each other as a wish come true for the two of you, wanting communication between the two of you, but nobody's taking action in confusion, but wanting the balanced connection here. But yeah, no, no action being taken. So let's see, oh Capricorn, let's see what your advice is. Let's see what your advice is for Capricorn. We have the High Priestess, which is Cancer and Scorpio. So you know the High Priestess knows a lot. They're very intuitive. They follow their gut, their instincts, their intuition, their higher knowing, connected to source and spirituality. But they uh, don't say a lot. So again, with that energy here of you not saying anything with the High Priestess energy, but then you have the nine of wands. So this, you know, is an energy of endurance to keep fighting and moving on, even though you've been through a struggle and a battle, you're still willing to fight on and carry on. And then you have the world. So this is your energy, uh, earth energy, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the wands is fire. So again, you know, the, I think the advice here is even though you're silent, you're not taking any action, you know this is your person, you can feel it, you feel it in your gut, your belly, you know, your intuition, and you wanna fight for this connection. So the, if you want this connection, you feel it in your gut and your belly, you need to take action and fight for it so that you can start a whole new world, a whole new chapter with this person. Needing to close out the way you used to it, interacting with one another, you kind of, giving them like the cold shoulder kind of kind of reminds me of kids like when they like somebody they like either pick on them or they ignore them and then this person's like uh, all confused so yeah you definitely need to if you want this you know it and you feel it in your gut your belly you need to fight for it and you need to start a whole new chapter of your life with this person a whole new world so let's see capricorn what the possible outcome could be in this situation. In Capricorn. What could Capricorn's outcome be for this situation, for this love connection for the end of August, second half of August? So we have the Six of Swords. So this is going into a better direction. This is air energy. So this is, um, and then the King of Swords. So this is speaking with truth and clarity, um, being open and honest, and it leads to going into a more healing, 
positive, balanced um, place. So actually, you know, traveling here and moving in a better direction, more healing, balanced, uh, peaceful place between the two of you. But it all stems on someone needs to be honest, whether it's you finally coming forward, the King of Swords energy, or them here. I feel it may be you, or you could flip-flop the energies however you see fit in this reading. So standing in truth and honesty, communication, um, standing up, and then going into a better place. More healing place between the two of you. Leaving everything behind that's not serving. The connection between the two of you and having this very peaceful calm energy moving forward wow so let's get some more clarifiers here so we have the hard fit so exactly this could lead lead to long-term commitment even marriage or just a committed relationship of some kind and this is about your faith your spirituality doing what's right what's moral what's just in the situation Two of Wands, so, you know, fire energy. So, and this is Taurus over here. So, Two of Wands, fire, needing to make a decision, um, make, making plans, making decisions. Either you within this connection or the two of you together moving forward. Three of Swords. So, this is heartbreak, sorrow, deep pain. Could speak of third party. If it's not that, it could just be, you know, v being very sad and hurt about like if you feel this deep deep connection but because there is not a coming together you feel this deep pain over this and this could be the energy of the two of you five of cups again with the sadness and the loneliness water energy this is air over here so again feeling sad and lonely and hurt and lost get some more here so there you go it's a brand new passionate beginning so I definitely feel like you know if you both have been through things in the past maybe past relationships there's a lot of pain heartache sorrow and loss uh it definitely two of wands here you know making plans for new beginnings and looking for a new stable committed relationship of some kind in the future and here is the brand new beginning the ace of wands passion fire um excitement, adventure, growth, expansion. So let's see what's on the, so we have the seven of pentacles energy here, which is earth energy. So that's, you know, patiently waiting and planting the seeds and waiting for everything to prosper. You know, it's a long process, but when you're done, you have this beautiful fruit on the end of your vines and the top of your trees. So, you know, maybe a long, steady process here, maybe slow building, but the pentacles are always long-term to something beautiful and fruitful. So there you have the two of cups. So there's two people coming together here. Soulmate energy here, um, water energy, two people coming together as one. And I had said that with 10, 10, 20, two, and here's the two of cups. So definitely... And with the two balance cards here, you balance you definitely would balance each other out well. And coming into unity and in a soulmate connection here. And then we have the lovers. So wow. <laughs> definitely soulmate energy here. Two people, Gemini here. Major message now. We have the two and the lovers back to back. So this is soulmate energy. Somebody needs to get this connection going. Somebody needs to get the soulmate connection going. Let's see. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Ten of Wands. So this is burden and uh, just feeling overwhelmed. So this may be a, a overwhelming connection that you or them never felt before feeling very burdened by it, like not knowing what to do. Should I come forward? Do they feel the same? All these things going on in your mind, just weighing you down, burning you, you down, because you have such a deep fire here. Um, 
it's time to just release that and come forward and just get this going to release all that burdensome energy. Seven of Swords. So this is, you know, self-deceit. This is um, kind of sometimes talks about being sneaky. Um, so this just could be, you know, the self-deceit of not really owning up to this connection, you know, just kind of ignoring it and uh, having this air energy, all that self-deceiving thoughts in your mind. That's what the Ten of Wands, so all the burning burdening uh, thoughts in your mind and just self-deceiving yourself of this connection, whether it's you or them. So here's the Page of Pentacles. So here's the Earth energy. So again, maybe it's you. I feel like this is all your energy, whoever your person is. I think we have all the signs here. Uh, for the Majors, we have uh, Cancer Pisces. We have Earth over here, which is your energy. We have Cancer Pisces again, Gemini, uh, Taurus, let's see. So, you know, the Page of Pentacles here, Earth Energy again, here's the offer coming in. It's sure stable, slow, but it's grounded, secure offer, wanting to build long-term and coming forward and communicating that. You know, and the Seven of Cups can speak of illusions, daydreaming, choices, decisions, confusion, water energy here. But here's the Empress. And this is um, Libra and Taurus. So again, could be your energy, like knowing your worth, your value. Embodies all the energy of all the queens, mother of the deck, the birth of new things, growth, expansion. So, yep, there can be a lot of growth, expansion, uh, soulmate union, connection here. But somebody needs to make a move, whether it's you or them, if you're not feeling worthy of them, of this connection, because you feel like you're not good enough for them or whatever here. Yes, you are. And they definitely feel the connection with you also. So let's get some guidance, advice for you. Capricorn in this love connection reading. Wow, okay. Well, that's way too many. That's like 10 cards. Knocked my shit over there. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out. A Capricorn, love reading, love connection reading. Second, there we go, second half of August. Some guidance and advice for you. So we have love who you are exactly, and you see here with tranquility, you are a divine and wonderful person, deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. So an eight here, and that is the movement and the communication and travel. You see this boat here. So I don't know if this person could live a distance from you, or there's just a need to come together because you got, you know, travel here. The world is about travel. Uh, Eight of Wands is about traveling or just coming together and communication and action. But love who you are. You are worthy. Um, and you do deserve this connection. Let's see what else do we have here. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So... 47 there, which is 11, which is two, which is two people coming together as one. And I feel like there'll be a, probably a lot of affection shared between the two of you, a lot of hugs and that sort of energy. Okay, so then we have love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as true. So there is love in this connection. And you have 16, which is 7, which still deals with confusion, uh, just pay, waiting, not taking any action, that self-deceit energy. Um, there's one more. And being kind of like on guard, defensive. Bottom of the deck we have the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. Exactly. Two, two. Wow, double comfort confirmation here of soulmate unity coming together four equals four stability here 
foundation and stability. So to the heart of the matter, that yes, this is a soulmate connection here, but nobody's taking action. And there's a need here for communication, truth, honesty, to get the ball rolling. All right, Capricorn, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. Saying you much luck in your um, connection here, and I hope it all works out for you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.